once it was the greatest mosque on the planet. And today it belongs to the Catholic Church after paying only 30 euros. I invite you to discover the mosque slash cathedral of Cordoba, where two temples dwell in one. And to join me in the quest to find, thanks to the planning power of photo pills, the best for opportunities that this UNESCO World Heritage Site has to offer. Hello, Photopillar Rafael Dabar here. Cordoba is located in the south of Spain, in Andalusia. It was founded by Romans in the second century before Christ and designated the capital of the Caliphate of Cordoba during the Islamic domination of Iberia, which lasted for eight centuries. Today, Cordoba remains a true treasure. Here we find four UNESCO World Heritage Sites. La Juderia, the narrow ancient streets in the city center that are more than 2,000 years old. The Courtyard Festival Festival, El Festival de las Flores, where the beautiful central courtyard of the houses are filled with flowers. Medina Zara, an enigmatic city palace built for Abderrahman III. At the foot of the Sierra Morena mountains, eight kilometers away from the city. And since 1984, the mosque slash cathedral of Cordoba, located at the shore of the Guadalquivir River. It was first built as a great mosque by Adarman I during the Islamic domination in the year 785. At its time, it was the largest mosque on the planet. It is said that its 23,400 square meters and 1,300 columns could accommodate more than 20,000 faithful. In the year 1236, the mosque was converted into a cathedral when Cordoba was conquered by Ferdinand III of Castile during the Reconquista. Later, in the 16th century, Century, a Renaissance cathedral was inserted in the middle of the mosque, merging two temples, two cultures in one. Also, after a strong earthquake, the minaret was converted into the 54 meters tall bell tower that we see today. The tower bell and the mosque will be our main subjects of all the photos we're going to plan today. We'll begin by exploring the possibilities of El Patio de los Naranjos, the orange trees courtyard. Afterwards, we'll cross the Roman bridge over the Guadalquivir river and try to find a beautiful view of the Tower Bell and the mosque slash cathedral of Cordoba. Then we'll go east in search of a vantage point from where to photograph a big moon with the Tower Bell of the temple. I want a really big moon. And finally we'll get lost in the old streets of La Juderia and try to find our last photo opportunity. In our journey to find cool photo opportunities, we learn why the mosque was not built facing Mecca, the Islam sacred duration, the direction people face in prayer, and why still today there is a huge dispute about who is the true owner of the temple. Well, the adventure begins. Please, follow me. Let's go! reasons we are inside El Patio de, las Naran de los Naranjos, the orange tree courtyard inside the walls of the mosque cathedral. 98 orange trees live here, but in spite of its name, there has not been always orange trees planted here. In this 130 meters long and 50 meters wide courtyard, in the 13th century, palm trees were planted here. Some consider this place Europe's oldest living garden, and I'm sure it hides quite a few of four opportunities, so let's explore. Guys, I think
think that I finally found a cool composition. From here I can get the Tao Bell and also some of the orange trees. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think it's a great shot for a blue hour shot or a golden hour shot. By the way, you go to the Flo Bills and you place the red pin where you are and you select your current date and time, you'll find the blue hour and golden hour times on panel number six. I have it here as you see here at the top. But apart from a golden hour shot or blue hour shot, I think this composition can be improved. Let's see if we can find when the sun is high in the sky next to the tower. So we can capture a star-shaped sunburst next to the tower bell. To do it, I'm going to use the find tool. So tap on the find button here at the bottom. Tap on find sun at azimuth and elevation or sun if we are Android. And then set the day range. I've set the date range to uh, two years and in this case I'm going to use the AR view to really re really find super fast the shot I want, I'm looking for so I'm tapping on the AR here and now point in the sky and place the sun where you want it to be for example here tap on done and now tap on the search button and let's see the first date the first date is on May the 2nd 2022 let's tap on it and tap on AR again here to visualize the shot here you have it this is a cool shot this cool shot where the sun goes behind the tower bell which is pretty really cool and this occurs on May April the 2nd 2022 around 5 35 p.m. so guys I think I have my shot planned I have my shooting spot the right position and my shooting date and time that appears on the time bar here on the planner this is on April 2nd 2022 at 5 35 p.m. How cool is that? Yes, I think it's a great for opportunity. I'll say to my to-do list. El Patio de los Naranjos, what a magic place. I can imagine people in the ancient times walking quietly, enjoying the sound of the running water and conversing about religion, meaning of life and public matter. What a fantastic place to be. Okay, let's move on. Let's find our second for opportunity. Let's go. I'm now crossing over the Guadalquivir River along the 331 meters long Roman Bridge, also known as the Old Bridge here in Cordoba. It was built in the first century before Christ, more than 2,000 years ago. It is also said that the Via Augusta, which connected Rome with Cali, passed through it. And I'm sure that on the other side the view is just fantastic. I'm looking for a view of the mosque and the Tower of Elves. So let's go for it. Sistine heavy stone arches form the bridge. From the shooting spot, the view of the bridge, the Roman bridge, the Mosque Cathedral, and the Tower Bell. Super beautiful, it's beautiful. I really like this frame. Note that the Mosque Cathedral is facing south. The Kibla, which is the wall that marks the direction that we need to face in prayer in Islam, it is not oriented towards Mecca, the hometown of the Prophet. The reason remains uncertain. One of the theories says that the Mosque follows the same northwest southeast orientations that the mosque in Syria, for which Mecca is towards the south. So if the mosque cathedral is facing south, I'm facing north. From this unique spot, it is not possible to get the sun or the moon in the frame. So I think it's a great shot for a golden hour shot and a blue hour shot. Is it best in the morning or in the evening? Well, you get the answer on the map because the yellow thick orange line you see is marking the sunrise direction and the thick orange line is marking the sunset direction. So I don't know at all time the light direction and I clearly see that it's a shooting spot for the sunrise, for the morning, golden hour and blue hour because light will hit the most important facade of the mosque and the, and the, and the tower bell. At sunset in December it is not that bad because the light comes from the side, from the west. But as we move time forward you see that the sun is setting more north and north which means that the sun will be leading from behind the building, leaving the main to say in the shade. So in this case I will go for a golden hour shot in the morning right before sunrise. Great I think I have my second shooting spot my second for opportunity again another golden hour shot. Now let's move east and try to find a cool shooting
lovely spot far away from the Tower Bell and try to find when we can photograph a huge moon, a big moon, the biggest possible moon with the Tower Bell of the Mosque Cathedral of Cordoba. Let's go! I'm walking, I'm walking, looking for a great vantage point to photograph the bell tower. I need a vantage point with a clean view of the bell tower so I can plan a shot with the moon. The further away I go, the larger the moon will be, so I'll keep walking because I'm still pretty close to the, to the bell tower. Uh, a curious fact I mentioned before is that still nowadays the ownership of the Mosque Cathedral is in dispute. On the one side, we have the Catholic Church, the Diocese of Córdoba, who paid 30 euros, 30 euros to uh, take ownership of uh, the Mosque Cathedral. It's pretty amazing. You pay only 30 euros and you get to own uh, a organized temple as the Mosque Cathedral. I do think a pretty big deal, right? And on the other side, we have the Civil Council of Córdoba claiming that religious consecration is not a way to acquire uh, a property, a building, and that the Mosque Cathedral should be under public property. Probably at the time of recording this video, both parties are fighting hard in court. Let's see how the story ends. Oh, look, I think I've reached my destination. Follow me. Guys, I love this shooting spot. What a view of the Mosque Cathedral and above all, the Tower Bell. All I need now is a huge moon aligned or next to the Tower Bell. Let's see if the photo is possible. We'll use the fine tool to plan it with photo pills. The first thing you need to do is to place the red pin on the shooting spot and then tap on the find button, tap on find moon at Asimov on television or moon if you're on Android. And now just place the blue pin you see on the map on the tower bell on the subject you want the moon aligned with. Set the day range and set the elevation. In this case, I'm gonna set an elevation of 44 meters, which is the height of the tower bell. So I'm looking for a moon aligned with tower bell at uh, 44 meters above the ground level of the tower bell so align with the top of the uh, tower bell <laughs> tap on search and you get a table with all the possible dates and time the moon will be within the search parameters and as you see you have quite a few options to start with we have a full moon in golden hour which is on thursday february 17th 2022 but you know we're talking about the most cathedral here so I'm gonna look for a thinner moon, you know, to pay tribute to the almost 800 years of occupation of the Islamic countries here in Spain, in the uh, Iberia Peninsula. With the thin moon, we have several dates. I can choose, for example, April 3rd, 2022, which is a pretty thin moon, and it's at night. At night, because of the monument is lit at night, I think it could be a great shot. But I think I'll go, I'll go for another date. Let's check this one. I love this one. Yeah, this one, July 20th, 2023. It's a great photo. Uh, it's not completely ni uh, night and the moon is pretty thin. I, like, I really like the shape of the moon. So tap on the result here to check the plan. And now, as you see on the top panel, the shooting distance is 1.1 km. The red pin, my shooting distance, my shooting spot is at 1.1 km away from the tower bell. And in brackets, you read that the size of the moon is 9.4 meters. And if I zoom on the black pin here, you see this blue area is showing you the size of the moon on the map. So I can compare how big the moon will be compared in this case with the tower bell. As you see, it's pretty big. The moon is gonna be pretty, pretty huge. The next thing I need to check is the height of the center of the moon. You have it on the top panel too. Moon height, 20, uh, 53 meters. So I'll change the time a little bit to put it up, push it up a bit until it's uh, 54. So I have the center of the moon at the same height as the height of the tower, 54 meters. For this plan, if I'm on the red pin position on uh, July 20, 2023, around 11, 11 p.m., the moon will be not aligned, but next, next on the left hand side, next to the uh, tower bell, which is a shot I really like. And the moon will be pretty thin, and the size of the moon will be 9.4 meters, which is 
pretty, pretty huge. If I want the moon to be right on top of the tower bell, I have to find another shooting spot. I have to change my shooting spot here and move it to be north and align the moon with the tower bell like this. So it's super easy. This is my third photo opportunity for today. An amazing shot of a pretty big thin moon aligned with the tower bell of the Mosque Cathedral of Cordoba. A tribute to the Islamic past of the monument. How do you think? Do you like the shot? Do you like the composition? Let me know in the comments. I'm so happy with this plan. I really love this shot. Do you have time for one more shot? Yes? Okay, follow me because we're gonna get lost in the beautiful streets of La Juderia. Let's go! Well, here we are in La Calleja de las Flores, the Flowers Alley, with a beautiful view of the Tower Bell. This is a pretty crowded location because the composition here is just amazing. We have the white walls, we have the blue flower pots, and then we have the Tower Bell of the Mosque Cathedral. It's a great composition, but I planned uh, a bit a bit of photo. I really want the sun in the frame with the Tower Bell, you know, to capture this star-shaped sunburst. So I already planned the shot. I, I, I plan it using the fine tool again and if you want to see it I can tap on the AR view and here you have the shot I planned you know the Sun will be at the top of the tower bell of the temple which is pretty cool I love it you know you can always add a little bit more to the composition with the Sun or the moon what do you think you like this shot I love it and the shot occurs on December 30th, 2021 at 3.41 p.m. Cool! So guys, this is our fourth photo opportunity we've planned today. I think it's time for a little refreshment, a little traditional Porto Peso style refreshment. But before, I invite you to download our super detailed photography guide. We have a guide for everything, for uh, learning how to expose your photos, for learning depth of field, for basic stuff, and also for more advanced stuff like how to photograph the Milky Way, how to photograph the Moon, how to photograph anything you can imagine, like photography, star photography, anything. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below, so check them out and download them. Finally, I am sitting next to the Mosque Cathedral of Córdoba, eating panillo omelette and having a beer in Casa Santos. Guys, come to Córdoba. Very nice people, very nice monuments and very nice food. Salud! And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan and shoot. Legendary photos. Bye!